Hey Bruins, my name is Mr. Pate and I'm here to talk to you about the social studies required options which have changed for this next year. In blue you see the regular class that can be taken that is required and in red you see the options that you can choose to take that are advanced placement or AP which uh, they are rigorous classes getting you ready for college. As a freshman, you choose a semester of world studies or you opt into AP Human Geography for a full year. As a sophomore, a semester of global perspectives or you opt into a full year of AP European history. As a junior, you take either US history for a full year or AP US history for a full year. And as a senior, government and economics for a full year or honors government and AP macroeconomics for a full year. Stay tuned to hear a little bit more about each of these classes from the teachers of them. Hello, my name is Ms. Arnold and I'm here to talk to you about two core classes that you are going to be able to take starting next year. The first class is World Studies and Geography, and this is going to be a semester long class for freshmen. Um, and we explore the basics of geography in this class for areas like Africa, Asia, Latin America, and the Middle East. Hey, Barla students, Mr. Kirsten here with a quick look at AP Human Geography. Why take a hard class? Yep, looks good on your grades. Yep, college credit. These are good, but you'll love this class because you'll take a deep dive into fascinating topics like immigration, money, food, religions, the environment, and much more. AP Human Geography is not about what the Earth looks like. It's about the amazing people who live there. Come on. The second class is a global perspectives class, and this is going to be a semester long course for sophomores. Um, and in this class, we're going to explore the history and the current events of the same places, Africa, Asia, Latin America, and the Middle East. Hello students, Barlow, this is Mr. Bailey inviting you to AP European History. What is this class? It is the history of Europe from the Middle Ages to modern times. It's about politics, about power, about war, about money, about kings and queens and peasants and everyone in between, including Napoleon there on the screen. Well, this is the story of the invention of our modern world. It makes a lot of connections to things that you already know about but don't know a lot about. Why you? It's interesting history. It's a different history. It is a challenge, it's a hard course. There's lots of reading, there's lots of writing. It's hard, but you will be a better student because of this AP course. Did I mention the college credit? Did I mention the European food? Join me in AP European history this coming year. Thanks. Hey Bruins, I'm Mr. Doherty, out enjoying some of the great Oregon weather. I'm also a US history teacher at San Barbara High School, which all of you have to take. Uh, in this class, we will look at U.S. history from the Civil War to modern times. We'll read the book, we'll watch some videos, we'll watch some films, we'll write some essays, we'll do some projects, we'll take some notes, and we'll learn about U.S. history. Hey Bruins, 2020 featured a pandemic, protests, an immigration debate, and a divisive election, among other things. Yet all of these issues had roots in history. In AP U.S. history, we will study what caused all of these things to happen. This is a challenging college level rigorous class that's gonna demand hard work of you. Yet, it also offers Mount Hood credit. It is gonna teach you to be a better writer and a thinker. And it's gonna be a dynamic fast paced ap uh, atmosphere where you get to experience history in cool projects like the Decade Project and A-Push Civil War. Let's do this. Hello Barlow, Strandberg here with a snapshot of what government and economics will cover. In government, we'll be looking at the types of governmental systems, including the pros and cons of each. Economics will cover macroeconomics and microeconomics. Looking forward to seeing you next year. Go Bruins. Mr. Heiser here. If you're interested in learning about the U.S. economy and how it works and what makes it tick and its relationship to uh, the international economy, this is the class for you. AP Macroeconomics is fast paced, it's challenging, it's definitely a college level preparatory class, and you will learn a lot. Please email me with any questions you might have. Thank you. Hey Bruins, I'm Mr. Doherty. I teach history through film. If you want to watch videos, you want to watch movies, you want to learn about history, this is the class for you. 
See you there. Barlow, sign up for Ethnic Studies and explore the experiences of Asian, African, Native, and Latin Americans, both historically and in terms of modern issues. Some of the examples that we'll study and explore include, but are not limited to Black Lives Matter, music, political power, boarding schools, brand re-imaging. There's lots of opportunity for project self-selection. Hope to see you there. Hello, Barlow students. This is Mr. Bailey inviting you to military history class. It's exactly what it sounds like, a class on military history. It's about war. It's about military technology. It's about history, of course. It's about society and what war does to society. It's about military structure and command, strategy and tactics, and even, especially if we're back in school together, a little bit of strategy gaming together. Join me in military history this coming year. Think about it. It might be a lot of fun. Game on, Bruins. My name's Mr. Pate, and I teach a class called Sports and Society. This elective is a class that not only do we talk about sports, so it's a great class if you love sports, but we're also going to look at how sports is influencing and influenced by society. We'll look at economics, social justice, and globalization of sports as you go through this class that is an awesome time. Let's go. Hey, Bible students. Thinking about taking psychology? You should. And here's three reasons why. One, psychology helps you understand yourself and other people. Two, psychology gives you awesome skills. Make better decisions, communicate better, be happier. Three, psychology is always useful. You don't have to be a psychologist to use psychology. Use your brain. Make good decisions. Take psychology.